All right, welcome back and thank you for staying with us on Daybreak Extra. We are kick-starting this segment by taking a look at the weekend trust this Saturday. We know how it tends to be fully packed with um, information that would last you through the weekend. Now, major story here is the calls for regional government. Um, riders are saying it will open doors for more agitations. That's according to the ACF scribe. Um, another one is saying what we want is true federalism. That's according to the uh, Feni Ferre. Uh, there will be competitive development. Or Hanin is saying that create more states instead. Um, this is according to Middle Belt elders. Not a good idea. And this is according to Professor Jibrin Ibrahim. This is a lot. This is a already, lot. Yes. Already. Everybody yeah, has answered. a say. Yes. Everyone has answered. Yeah. And I feel we don't have anything to say. Indeed. The elders have spoken. <laughs> True. Whether they create states or they let, let it be, it's not <laughs> needed. It is the most I confusing mean, thing ever. Because everyone has a say. And, and that's this the is good thing about really democracy. This is interesting for, for, for Nigerians to pick the Daily Trust newspaper Truly. this morning to go through all this i mean it's going to keep keep them uh, up to speed yes and and you know what and we say you know you know our slogan here is make sure you ed equip yourself with knowledge, knowledge yeah. that way you knowledge get is to be very powerful yes. and very important that way yeah. you get to understand what your country needs and how you can really converse in mm -hmm. putting up the mm -hmm. effort of changing I mean, even the if country you're going to, to argue, the better at least you have something valid to argue. truly uh, truly not not uh, arguing logically with information not sentimentally mm -hmm. but then yes um uh, basically there's been a, a lot of course for the longest time saying there should be a regional governance when it comes to pre the presidency seat um you know countries because of how um we know how the uh the minorities you know my minority languages don't get the opportunity even in states um you know state government uh, you see majority always taking up the seat and minority feel left out and they don't feel represented hence the reason for you know the call of this on the federal and even the state level um but then this is something we need to look uh, you know look deep dive into as people would say there's always an advantage and disadvantage of everything and the advantage of this is like we said it's going to bring out the minority and give them you know space to shine as well um, but then the disadvantage is it would not make us get you know uh, a worthy you know person at, at the end of the day is just regional so you know what this this person's time even if the person does not um um have much to give to the people then he's of course it is right it is time to do it so there is that um consideration so i think it's it, it's okay for us to take more time dive into all of this make sure we get a better um solution at the end of the day nigeria comes first you know and the people come second yeah all right moving on uh, from that below the headmaster we see bielsa apc suspense lokoviri and lion um and all this all right um still on um you know inter-party crisis a pdp is having their own which is beside the pdp crisis deepens as nwc splits over damagum um that is the national chairman of uh, the pdp people are saying he should resign or already i think he's been sacked already but then other people are saying they need to have him there so yes there's the, the internal battle um in every political party which i always say it's not nigerian's problem the most important thing is uh, you know the leaders you, you need to have money for you people to be having inter internal party um, crisis nigerians <laughs> at this point just need good governance yes but then yeah um uh, the youth so that I want to be involved <laughs> well the youth that want to be involved in politics which um at this point i feel will keep pushing for youth to step out because i one thing is for sure the youth have nigeria at heart more than you know the elders yeah, at I this mean, point you yes. know just some days ago we picked a story where google and you know the ministry of creativity uh, creative um the yeah, minister that's Hanato. Uh, Han must miss out Okay, yes, yeah, Hanato Musawa. Yeah, Musawa, thank mm -hmm. you. So uh, they, they're actually partnering to train about 10,000 youths. No, that's And they great. equipped them on, you know, filming, digital uh, content creating, and, you know, uh, digital marketing and the rest. That so would I feel, be amazing. You know, so this is actually a step for us to say, okay, the youths, at this point, I remember when Buhari said, go and farm, look for something to do. You know, don't just sit and wait for the government to yeah. you know, always do things for you. Yeah. Go out there and do something. And I mean, we see a lot of scholars and, you know, pastors, religious leaders saying, oh, look for a hand job. Look mm. for a hand job. And 
you know just so it takes away all this stress of uh, battling with hardship here and there i mean mm. it's it, youth always will be the heart of, of the course, country of the country yes, because and we are the majority of course and and definitely we'll keep, we'll keep mm -hmm. pushing for the youth to have more favorable environments when it comes to politics so mm. that we can deep dive into it so yes if you're interested check out these parties and their crisis that I way mean, you'll be to not knowledgeable to about i'm this. still asking that question because we are yet to see young people in the parliaments and you know no we already know the major problem which we called out a long time ago we'll, we'll keep going to, we'll, we'll continue calling it out I mean, we which need, is the, we need the it, prizes we need it to be really implemented yeah. fully you know we have few youths that are actually representing it's because the prize is expensive politics. Yeah. if you're buying no, a i'm form, sure now they are cutting down because they it's 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 outrageous it's out, it is people outrageous. having to pay five ten million just to buy form to participate indeed in so politics. it only favors the rich child and, and and you know the Except poor you have a godfather not. or someone that is which going brings to us back to fighting then, against you know there autonomy. are people that yeah people always coming out to support i remember when garba yeah, yeah. came out and said he wanted to become a president and then we came out with you know our with our full support and <laughs> our bags of you know small cash to say oh let us contribute yeah to like independent era, supporters that you know, would be 200 great. or 1000 just so that he could and then he just broke our hearts at the end of the <laughs> Oh. it happens you know indeed so. indeed all right away from um you know political uh, matters um the 50 kilometer death trap along from towards afi road now this is uh i don't know the details of this i don't know if it's based on the bad road, road yeah. yes or insecurity bedeviling the, the state definitely because we know cuts in a state has been suffering from it's insecurity bad road, Maya, but then the bad road leads cars. to the insecurity exactly because when there's there are they slow down holes, you yeah know, there will be a slowdown and then that way it will you be get easy ambushed. for people to be attacked yeah attacked and then accidents keeps keeps occurring because there are so many potholes mm -hmm. That is really and they sad. Need to, I mean, they are so big that uh, you, you understand why some accidents actually yeah. happen, and you're trying to avoid the potholes. And, and that is the road match. that links to you know a lot of places. Yeah. When when mm -hmm. the moment you're entering Katsina mm -hmm. from uh, Abuja, yeah. it's it's for so two road. Yes. That, yeah. So so it's it right. needs something needs to be done. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's the job of the federal government or the state government, but whoever it is, please take responsibility for that. Um, now below there, uh, we see the logo of that's below the major story. We see logos of um, uh, the ACF, which is Area Consultative Forum, um, also the ARG, Afeni Fere Renewal Group, and the Ohanese. Now these are three um, groups of um, representing the majority languages in Nigeria, which is the Igbo, Yoruba, and Hausa. Now below that um, picture, we see beggars take over Abuja streets. You find that on page 25. Um, Lord have mercy on me. I saw a beggar today. I'm like, you know what? We're hungry all. So at this point, I don't <laughs> no, think I don't think you get as much as um, you know um, other people mm. uh, as as usual. Uh, but then beside that, we see supremacy battle between Wamako, Lami, Lo, Rock, Sokoto, APC. All right, and these are the stories that you'd find on uh, the Weekend Trust today. Make sure you pick up a copy. Mm, definitely i mean there's a whole a lot whole i mean lot i love packed. what is happening on the front page Indeed. today this will leave me engaged and also the weekend it, exactly so yeah let's take a look at the guardian this morning and then we have the major story saying faith or fraud troubling trend of divine merchandising in religious center i mean this is something that's been back and forth recently on social media i've, I've seen a lot of you know people f having feedbacks on you know a lot happening on this and then just a uh, pictorial the cartoon that you can see there it says uh, miracle oil for sale and then the woman bends and you know giving money to collect that i mean there was you know the uh, very dark man coming out to you know with uh, pastor jeremiah issue the miracle yeah. water chain and yeah. all that i mean this this is what we actually it's you know so dealing with it's so crazy that i just feel people will just come up with some so i could just you know go and create a ground coconut oil and just say why this is, is he not oil? using the miracle oil to get rich why does he have to sell I mean, it this to is you? question that people need to ask why does he have to know, sell it he's making of money off nigerians and, and you you are his own miracle mm -hmm. he's giving you an oil mm -hmm. and you are his own miracle of making and money then I, you know th there's something that happens you know when you are very superstitious or you believe in things like that for some people it kind of maybe they feel it works for them mentally yeah. because they have strong belief because they feel oh this person will not you know yeah give no, me we know something. we know the strength of belief you know yeah, it, it is exactly. believed that so, if you should keep a stone and believe that stone it's, so it's going to it. yeah it will so, so, so we know yeah, you know stuff like that and there are a lot of people that actually believe no, in that's things like that so, yeah 
you know so yeah you can you can go through you know <laughs> page page nine eight and nine for more for more details and then we have the oxlade saying you know from lagos to africa with love i mean today we don't have the the, the guardian woman but then we have oxlade you know saying that the music industry is actually also going through their own you know the uh, davido and whiskey fans yeah the fc and <laughs> There's a lot going on. Indeed. I mean, I'm sure that you're going to talk about much <laughs> later. So let me leave that to you. Then five more tactic, uh, tactical errors Tinobu must clear. I mean, we just talked about so many things that we need clarity on. And and then um, Tinobu heads to Paris for key engagement. Well, I can't wait to see what comes out of it. You can go through page 37 for more details. And then we have the Maclan unveils Tales of the Maclan volume two to mark 200 years of their anniversary to Somalia today this is i mean there are a lot of you know um, uh, organizations or you know brands or groups that celebrate so many years of you know anniversary and this is actually 200 years and you've been wondering yep uh, 200 years of what and th th they just unveiled you don't know about wow Macklin? wow well, well you can go great. through page 37 again for more that's details great. echoes from southwest apc caucus meeting in lagos mm. i mean today the front page is just willing to you know give people the yeah, punches to talk about <laughs> and think about i mean the, the whole from today till tomorrow you and, and nigerians will have tons of you know yeah. the messages and, and it's stories good, it's to good go for through us to know so they'll understand what happens i mean you can go through page 26 for more details on that and that's it for you know the guardian this morning i mean there's no guardian we want today like i said so yeah we stick to what we know indeed <laughs> <laughs> all right let's move on from uh, the guardian to um other newspaper there uh all right take a look at the saturday punch where at the top of the page beside the headmaster that we see i have never had one million naira balance in my account um that's according to bb Ninja winner kelly ray well good for you yeah kelly ray right yeah the good for thing, him imagine not ever having a million I, and all I of a sudden you're anybody getting... that was part of the bb Ninja. i don't know their name i don't even, i just saw his picture today i don't even know who yeah. was there <laughs> i mean i can't even remember the last time i watched bb Ninja for me to know yeah. i mean i saw one comedian saying he has never sat down to look he has like the economy has made people to forget about bb yeah, Ninja yeah. actually because people are not watching people, people are have dealing more, with hunger exactly. they don't even have maybe money to subscribe and what have you so nobody is really and he said they are the most unluckiest people that had to go to bb niger on the this, show yes yeah. All right. when when a lot is happening i mean indeed. It's, it's a whole indeed. lot but All congrats right. to yeah, him at the end of the day because the money has, would, yeah. would be useful to, to them and because he's married so he, yes very was beautiful he the one that went in with his wife with his wife oh, exactly nice. yes so it's really good I, you know I changing the narrative of the it, show so i think that's yeah. the only thing i know <laughs> <laughs> it's good changing the narrative of the show yeah, so showing that people, yes married people and then they, exactly. i don't know how long they kept it up though because i was until the end actually about until the end keeping it away from the you know the rest of the house and all that it just showed that um you know uh, because there's something that we tend to sh talk about in, in nigeria saying indecency or you know bad judgment and all of that tends to win you more recognition mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and all but then showing that two decent couple mm -hmm. knowing that they're on live tv mm -hmm. they know that there are a lot of things that they could not do and they, had and they kept on and respected their marriage mm. It's something to applaud, and I'm grateful that you know someone I mean, like are, that won the money. You are one fan of BB Niger, and you yeah. know one other <laughs> colleague that you guys get to talk about it all the time. That's Indeed. why, you, and then you know you always see it on social media when you see shots, but I've not even seen anything. For me, do you know what I love? Around. I love reality TV shows. Maybe not all, but then reality TV shows is People because are it shows different character and perspective of yeah. human beings. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching it, you become open to mindset. Um, I I watch with an open mindset of not judging different people with based mm -hmm. on their I just I mean, learned don't that. Judge. Yes, I just learned yeah. that just because you are like this, there are other people that think differently, mm -hmm. act differently, mm -hmm. dress differently, mm -hmm. and the more you see and know the reasons why they do, mm -hmm. the more you become open minded and not get judgmental, yeah. and you learn things yeah. from other people. Yeah, it's as good well. not to be judgmental because I, I I can't even remember if I have ever had that thought of you know judging people just yeah. because I see them behave in a certain way because yeah. you know there's I just always feel a reason. Every human represent ten percent of 
something else something exactly. else somebody yeah. just know that the way you behave someone out there behaves that way and then the way maybe you visualize things so yeah and not we to need, be judgmental. You know, for us to be more tolerant, and we, for us to live in yeah. a peaceful so environment, you have to keep we need to be more tolerant uh, yeah. of each other. All right, away from that story, below the headmaster there we see, I studied in nine foreign varsities. Um, okay, before starting convenance, that's according to Oyedepo. Interesting. Um, away from that, Dangwache direct purchase, um, that's the, talking about the direct purchase, marketers demand working refineries. Um, something is wrong. A uh, Nigerian refinery that the federal government even made promises that it was going to um, start working from this year's ending. You know, it started from early this year to push to uh, December. December is approaching or even October. We're still waiting. So obviously we only have that with you and we would have to hold on to that. But then please, um, I don't know whoever is involved in all of this. You people need to allow Dangwati to help Nigerians because... We, we, we keep complaining of monopoly, monopoly, but somewhat, you know, one of our guests said, who, when was the last time a Nigerian invested billions of dollars in Nigerian economy? Instead, we know for a fact a lot of them carry their money outside Nigeria to build another country. But none of them invest in our country. So whether we like it or not, we have to give Dangote his flowers for bringing that much money into an economy that is shaky. And invest in, uh, in Nigeria but then we want stakeholders involved to make it easy for um, you know Nigerians to benefit from Dangote's refinery and also yes work on making uh, um, Nigerians refinery work again um, away from that major story still on the price hike um, Nigerians lament worsening hunger soaring transport fares Trans transport fares rises again by 100 percent and food prices so yes by 100 percent and i mean this is just from um the, the beginning of this month or, or just the decision that they made in within Even this week it is 200 percent our grade. indeed no we already know it already rose a long time exactly. ago and, and it was by 300 mm -hmm. to 400 mm -hmm. percent mm -hmm. and then now it's add, added mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. bag of rice is 1100 and something 120 just say it. That is ridiculous. Though. I mean, that's what I was telling yesterday. We were having this conversation online. And we had tons of people, you know, joining to just vent their angers. And, you know, some people coming up to say, can you imagine a bag of rice is 120? I mean, the, the, what happens to the poor person that maybe wants to just have a feel of rice in their house? What, what do they have to go through? I mean, I told you a while back, I saw a video of a woman trying to tell her son, don't worry, your brother will go and buy food. And she just, you know, had to put fire and then just put a pot, make it look like she's cooking. But they don't have anything to actually even cook. And the, the children were just crying. It's and hard it's so breaking. sad. It is heartbreaking. You know, really sad. What is going on in our country? Nigerians are better than that. Nigerians deserve better. Honestly, our mm -hmm. leaders, you all need to do better on all level. On mm -hmm. all level. Mm -hmm. um, away from that, profiting from pain, house kit makers promote discrimination against PWD for online fortune. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, people living with disabilities are actually being featured, but then on skits. You know, so that's exactly what they are talking but that's, about. But that's horrible, though. I mean, yeah. the main aim of uh, media, whether it's been a social, independence, or, or the mainstream media, is mm. to work against, uh, you know, discrimination, is to give your own quota. I believe Nigerians are quite creative. I know that Nigerians can, um, you know, do anything, even positively, in order to mm. um, draw attention. We can make fun of situation, but in a more positive light, and then the message, but not putting the people that are already suffering discrimination you know some of stigma. them actually yeah some some actually use them for for their own purpose for their own but some actually are trying to help them to put them out there so they can have something but then there are a lot of people that will always take advantage of even the people that are okay yeah you know and then yeah yeah we saw, I mean, we saw if, if remember we talked about the leprosy yes. uh, village where people uh, some arm robbers and whatever went go to, there to, you know, to keep to, stealing to from, steal them. from them from them also people will always take advantage that of is really people sad that need help yeah oh, please let's be humane I'm away from that. Nigeria has only 80 hat surgeons association president um, Etsuema is saying, and we need more, 80 is little for a country of for over 200 million. Uh, beside there on security, bandits heighten killing spree as military fails to capture Bellaturgi. Mm. I, was, I was seeing that story, you know, I mean, it's really, really sad, even though they have killed two, 
you know from this that exists mm. that they are actually working with Truji because I mean he's controlling not just Zamfara or Katsina, yeah. I think he's controlling the other North states East. that is closer to you know his side. I mean it's really sad. One that person this having keeps so much power. I mean how do Nigerians even cope like mentally? I mean some days ago was the World Mental Day and uh, you know we even though we're not that able to get thing. someone yeah we, we we had a psychologist that would have joined but then we had some issues that that warranted not for the person to join. Mm. But I'm just imagining how Nigerians are coping with the bandits. Ooh. I mean I saw a video of children like not less than 15, 16, 17 killing people selling their kidneys for 25,000 naira in Nigeria so my just just so they can eat but then you have to kill people to sell kidneys yeah because and somebody will actually they, happen, alive will you know? not sell their kidneys and they're actually coming out to say oh heads the head actually pays better like you can you yeah we're not talking about animals we're talking about human it's there's a lot I, I think I, I think I've I've come for the government enough. I I, I I'm trying to hold myself yeah, just back hold on, on, on this. And let's see what a, a lot. Yes, a, a lot seemed to be going wrong in our country, and um, like we know Nigerian all can this do actually better. has to add up. You know, no money, no food, no security. No security. Minimum wage is yet to be implemented in some states that we know is not going to do anything for people. Majority of Nigerians are not civilian and are not um, civil servants. servants. Don't forget yeah. that. So majority you know. of them are business owners. And due to the cost of fuel and increment of everything, mm -hmm. most small businesses have whenever, folded whenever, their business. Whenever fuel goes high, everything goes high. Hospital bills goes high. School fees goes high. Yeah. Food, commodities goes, you know, just skyrockets. I don't, it, blink of an it, eye, it, it, just it, be I, I don't want the government to come again and, and tell Nigerians and uh, look for business I mean, because it's just a it, the environment lot, is not favorable for them at all. Nigerians are suffering. We don't have from normal people effect. anymore. At this <laughs> Please let's I'm, do. I'm serious. At the we end of the day, really anyways, based people, on what Fatima is saying, help. is we need to take care of our mental health in everything. If it means yeah. um, if you can afford therapy, talk to someone. If you cannot, talk to family members. Go out just for a jog. You know, yes, just because we know running, something. right? Just jogging, yeah. jogging, As dancing at home. Mm -hmm. You know, things like mm -hmm. that. Just, just create to a hobby, yourself. you know, yes. something new, something different that will just take your mind. We know that it may be difficult, but just try. Yeah, just because like, there is nothing you can actually do about indeed, some of the indeed. things. Indeed, it's just know, like so. what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. Throughout the week, we bring you all the drama or uh, happening in our economy Saturday even though today we have to rope in because it was too much mm. but later on we're going to just calm the show with um, you know other things just to keep our mindset mm -hmm. you know sane all right um, away from that why I can't practice medicine in Nigeria again that's according to popular Canada-based physician Dr. Zo um, and below that we see 16 states carpet EFCC and lingering 776 billion narrow fraud cases um this story has been controversial um where state government are saying they need to cancel the anti-corruption agency the efcc as much as the efcc is not um is also facing its own um allegation we do need an anti-graft agency anti-corruption agency to fight um and especially the fact that it's coming from governors which we know tend to get probed after leaving office hmm. it does not i don't even consider it at, at all the only thing i need i think we need to do is to cleanse the efcc of the corrupt people make sure there is a there's a, a real sanction you know for whoever is caught like a real punishment mm -hmm. a severe one that would scare mm -hmm. people not to even I think mean, it people should be held accountable every time we see that yeah. just like we keep holding the government accountable yes, for of some of the most of the problems happening in nigeria everyone should be should accounted be. for what Indeed. they do at the end of but then system governors are saying that they should they scrap, scrap it yeah i don't but, think it but, should be but then efcc whether we like it or not has been doing a lot i mean yesterday yeah. shatima called and he was like without efcc imagine what would have happened to the national treasury which i mean i totally Indeed. agree with him even though it's not just efcc that is fighting for corruption we'll have you know, we have the icpc we have other you know yeah. uh, bodies that are actually you know fighting for so uh, it, we we need we need all these agencies yeah. you can't just say scrap one and then give uh, power to one or two you know to carry on so efcc are actually doing well but in just every, the fear of them, you know, in every make every every sector, I keep saying there's there will always be corrupt people, whether you like it or not. It doesn't mean that just maybe because there are stories of you know corrupt uh, maybe staffs in the EFCC agency doesn't mean everybody in EFCC is corrupt. Yeah, or the EFCC so it's is just corrupt, it's just you know, for so. us to just make sure we fish them out. The